Hello everybody, welcome to this month's vlog for Agricology from Dalesford here. My name's Richard Smith and I'm the farm manager. We've had a few requests from people who look at agricology to talk about, or for me to give an opinion on how I would select a bull to come onto the farm. We've kept beef breeds here for the last 12 years, pedigree registered Aberdeen, Angus and South Devon. The first females that came onto the farm were carefully selected for all the reasons that, you know, for what I was looking for in a cow, but 50% of your foundation flock, sorry, herd, is uh, your bull. So a bull is a very important purchase. After you've decided which breed you want to go for, you can gather a huge amount of information from the breed societies. All of the main breeds now have tremendous amounts of information that you can gather, basically on every animal that's registered. So the first thing that you're going to be offered to look at when you look at a bull is an EBV, Estimated Breeding Value. And this piece of paper is unique to this bull behind me, a three and a half year old South Devon bull. And on here I can gain all the information about his ancestors' growth rates, his daughter's ease of calving, their milkiness, his growth rates right through from 200 to 600 days. So I'm all really well informed about how his progeny will produce if mated to a cow of similar ilk. Now EBVs are only one part of buying a bull. You have to use stockmanship as well. So when you're buying a bull, you want to look at his locomotion. How does he move? Is he able to move freely? Is his front end pulling his back end along? I don't like to see that. The bull should walk super freely on all four quarters. He should stand square at the corners. His feet should be sound, and obviously he should carry the right type of conformation for the meat animal that you're looking to produce. So you need to decide what it is you want from a bull. We now breed the vast majority of all our own bulls here on the farm, and it's a closed herd. But a bull also should have good temperament, and breeders will breed for temperament, as well as confirmation looks and size. You can get too big, you can get too small, and you need to decide for yourselves what it is that you want in a bull before you go to purchase. My last piece of advice is that you do speak to the breed societies. They're all very keen to promote their breed and they can point you in the right direction to reputable breeders of these very fine animals who can help you an awful lot with exactly what it is you're looking for. This is a beef breed. We also have a dairy herd here at Dalesford, so we're looking for suitable bulls to use across dairy cows as well. And from that progeny, I'm looking for beef that will produce from a forage-based diet. I hope that's been helpful. There's so much more I could say, but if these things go on too long, I'm told it's boring. So, have a great month. Bye-bye.